You know why the guys, the rappers, you see them on TV every now and again? You know, I learned this the other day in America about a week ago, which I'll tell you more about in a second. But do you know why they walk like this? Like, you see them walking like this? You see that walk, you know? You see the walk? Do you know why that is? Thanks. Thank you for the audience participation there, folks. I really appreciate that. Really do. It's because they don't want to crease their new sneakers. <laughs> it's all in the detail. It was last week that I was in China. Do you know what that is? Can you see it? Can you see that I'm really prepared with my PowerPoint? That, although you can't see it, and therefore, it's, I'll, I'll, what I can say is it's shaped like a finger. Shaped like a finger like that. Like a student once said to me in a sixth form school when I said, yeah, yeah, to her. She said, don't point. She said, do that. So that's that. That is a, and I got this from China where I was a week before. That is a bookmark. Oh, I'm so sorry you can't see that or feel how good that is. So that is a bookmark. And that is beautiful. And that is why more people should go to China. <laughs> a, a while ago, it says up there, I think it was 2014, I, I came to a poetry slam in Grahamstown. Um, and uh, I was doing a, a gig there, a, a, a theatre, a performance. Uh, uh, it was about my story called Something Dark. And it had been at... It'd been at uh, at Market Theatre a few years before, and uh, me and Lebo saw each other, and we hung out, and then we went to this... Re I'm telling you why I'm here, just as a means of introduction. And we went to a gig, we went to a gig, a poetry slam. And, um, and I've been to see, I've seen them all over the world, you know, poetry slams. Came from America, it's where you put the, the market before the actual poet. So I've always been a little bit sus more suspect of it. Where people clapping is more important than the, the act of writing the poem. And I've always been suspect of the audience before the actual uh, product when it comes down to art. However, I went to this and it absolutely blew my socks off. And, uh, and people think of poet poetry as the same as design. You know, they don't realize how important it is until there's a, a big event. Uh, uh, and then they realize that uh, design is, is, uh, is, is central to their lives as they realize that poetry is central to their lives. When so somebody dies or when, when there's a birthday, when there is a, uh, a funeral, when there is a, a wedding, suddenly design becomes important as if it wasn't there before. It becomes an, an act of emotional connection between the person, their environment, and the things that they touch and have around them. So we consistently design and curate our present in ourselves. And it's the same with poetry, people to turn to it when they need it. But I've got to tell you folks, I've got a voice in the back of my head and it's going, you shit, get off. <laughs> and I've got another one, it's going, no, you're doing all right, carry on. <laughs> and I've got one in the middle and it's saying, you two separate now. <laughs> and I've got one behind that and it's saying, shall we form a choir? And I've got one behind that, and it's saying, to do that, we'll need funding. <laughs> I've got one behind that, and saying, let's set up an equal opportunities panel to interview the worker who will set up the choir. And I've got one behind that, and he's saying, stop, now, we need to go out into the community with evaluation forms to discuss whether actually what we're doing is relevant to get the funding, to get the worker, to administrate the process, as to whether this is... I've got one behind that, he's saying, stop, everybody! We need a building to house the worker who will administrate the process as to whether that is relevant or not. And somebody behind that is saying, and we need to design the building for the well-being of the community that will use it and the worker that will administrate the process as to whether this is actually relevant within the community or not. And then it turns out that we'll get a worker finally, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a worker, we've got a worker. Turns out the worker's a wanker. So what we'll have to do is set up another group. 
The fact is, is that the, 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 the solution never happened. It's bad design. Every day that I wake up, I, I uh, write a morning tweet, a morning uh, poem. Um, and I do it because it's an exercise of creativity, because sometimes it's crap. I take the risk every day as a nationally renowned poet in England of putting up a morning tweet, which, which, is, which is a poem, and I risk it being crap every day. And in some days, it is crap. It is, and this is what I wrote this morning. I will not limit myself. I will not be afraid. If it were not imagined, how else could it be, could it be made? Everything around us had to be imagined first. Therefore, the imagination is, to me, as real as this stage that I am stood on. And I believe that in society there is a lobby against the imagination and against the creative, a will to institutionalize it and to hold it down because it is fierce. It is fierce. If, was to, if, if to imagine something is as real as the physical thing, then all bets are off. And this is why I think people have a, a prejudice, a live prejudice against the artist and against the creative. Creativity is not the monopoly of artists. It's in all of us. It always was. And by the way, it's not in just the creatives. If you're a creative and you think that creativity is only something that you in your field do, then you are selling creativity down, way down the river. It's, it's in the mothers who have to negotiate their single child's uh, well-being on a daily basis. It's in the parents who have to, who have to um, uh, improvise ways of getting through with each other and with their children or their friends or their entire lives. It's in the taxi driver who looks at the night stars and believes them to be miraculous and tells nobody. It's in everybody. Creativity is not the monopoly of artists. So we should be allowed to make mistakes. We should be allowed to make uh, uh, crappy tweets. We are in a revolutionary time. There are more words passing between more people now since the beginning of time. So, so this is something I do, and I've done it since 2012, 2011. Uh, morning tweets every, every day. And this one was um, when the, uh, there was uh, explosions and the planes were shot down in uh, Pakistan or, or, or India. Uh, this one is designed by a woman called Morag uh, Mayaskov. The, the thing is about this is that something that, that had no agenda, something that was just an exploration of my creative uh, spirits every single day has become something. She won a lot of awards for this. And I don't know whether Morag said this, but she started to, every day, she would put up four different colors on her Twitter, four different colors. One was how she felt, and she did it every single day for about two years. That palette of colors that she put up every day became the source material for her design of a hospital. The point is, is doing something creative for yourself without agenda on a daily basis, taking a risk that nobody else will know what it means, that it could be crap, that it goes out there, gives you a, t a body of work to draw on. And not only that, it keeps, you, it keeps you alive. What is it then? Is it taking a photograph? Is it, a, is it a, that goes up on your Twitter account or your Instagram or your Facebook? Is it a line? Mine have to be original. So this set of words has to never before have been seen in the shape that they are since the beginning of time. This was put up on the wall of a house in Manchester after the Manchester bombing, after people died, after Ariana Grande said the sun to the moon, said the head to the heart, we have more in common than sets us apart. The point is, is that something without agenda that was my connection to the world, that wasn't looking for your thanks or for applause, ultimately is taken up by people as their own. 
It's a beautiful, beautiful example to me as to how the internet and how uh, creative engagement with it can become something. That's myself and that's um, uh, 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 Morag Myerskoff. The point is I do it every single day and it's a, a gift to you if you can think of some way that you can explore this habit it keeps you afresh, and it puts out your ideas. We're all so afraid of people taking our ideas, but there is one tweet that'll come up later on, which is all about everybody can see the light switched when the lights are on. In other words, be the switcher, be the person who turns the lights on. How do you do it, said night? How do you wake and shine? I keep it simple, said light, one day at a time. <laughs> this is a group of women who decided in... Um, in uh, Stonehenge, uh, they were they were sufferers of cancer. How do you do it, said Knight? How do you wake and shine? I keep it simple, said Light. One day at a time. That's a poem called a love poem. You remind me, define me, incline me. If you died, I'd... The problem with this for me, and I've said this to the, to the writer, uh, to the person who tattooed it in them, into their wrist, is that it's not acknowledged that I'm the writer. <laughs> Do something every day that is creative and it will feed you and it will feed the community around you. Uh, and most of all, you will have a bank of evidence to draw on for the rest of your lives. The internet is there to be, uh, to be enjoyed. See ya. Thank you. Can I do one more thing? Come, 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 come. Can I do one more thing? Folks, can I do one, one more thing, right? Will you do me a favour? Will you take a picture of me? I'm only, t I'm only 10 seconds over time. Go, 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 go. Will go. you take a picture of me as if I'm doing something dynamic and then tweet it, right, to at Lem Cisse or Designing Darb? Is that okay? I'm, I, I'm just trying to design my talk. Design your in Darb. Okay, go right. for it. So this is one uh, photograph that I'm after. Right, that, that's my Q&A, that's my Q&A. No, this is my Q&A. <laughs> and, and this is my victorious end of a poem to your standing ovation. 